kind of programs you typically focus on for upskilling your employees? Are they technical in nature or are they a mix of technical, trade specific and, and essential skills? So we have industry mm -hmm. domains perspective. So we have right. people who have actually come from those uh, people have joined from uh, the industries where we have uh, this thing. So they do the industry domain that's mostly internally built. Sure. Uh, then we have technology. Technology is also something where people keep trying for new things. So if mm. they, and we do promote that part of it, if they want to mm -hmm. go for a certification or right. any of those. Once people have picked up some new technology, we try to, that's where these forums come in and they Get come it, and share. Yeah. Then yeah. we have a group of people who try out and uh, learn. So mm. there are technology based, which is their tools, which are there and internal yeah. uh, tools also. Apart from it, yes, the core professional skills, which is a behavioral mm. and the leadership. Change in objective, not objective change, but uh, say technical training, yes, it'll remain, the, it'll remain same and we'll do the same thing. But uh, we do a lot of managerial interventions. Okay, so okay. those managerial interventions are things like, uh, you know, how to give effective feedback and uh, uh, so managing people basically, right? And uh, a lot of those things, uh, you know, when we design those programs, we design, mm -hmm. uh, you know, keeping a physical working environment where right. you see right. them every day and talk to them and, you know, meetings and things like that, how to conduct meetings. Right. So those trainings, I think we may have to relook at the objectives because, mm -hmm. or, because now it's all virtual, right? So yes. you know, it's about managing remote uh, workforce. Right. It's not the actual workforce. So, uh, you know, yeah, those managerial skills, leadership trainings and all, maybe like uh, we may have to relook at uh, the outcome. Of course, um, we have significant budgets for manager development, mm -hmm. leadership, um, you know, acumen, Soft mm -hmm. skills from a confidence building, from, you know, communication. Yeah, from the time we hire, we have to select with a certain standard. Mm -hmm. yeah. But of course, we do have, we don't call it a communication kind of a thing, but a softer, uh, we call it success skills. And it's right. a combination of communication, collaboration, leading, you know, mindset, resilience, and a whole bunch of things, which, which forms that success skills portfolio. Right. And, and that stays. Fortunately, at ANZ, we've always focused on learning outcomes in terms of what does this learning translate into. Mm -hmm. uh, so even when we were doing classroom sessions only, the classroom sessions were part of a larger initiative, which was, you know, blended with some bit of coaching, some projects and hands on and goals to complete uh, uh, self goals to complete. So it mm. used to be a typical blend. Uh, and we would seek feedback from both the employees, the line managers and stakeholders to see where we are in terms of meeting need of uh, need of engagement with the subject matter expert. I think we are seeing that far more uh, in when we are moving to virtual. So a few things we've done to cater to that is created communities or internal Yammer for a particular concept. Mm -hmm. So people, they, either they're alumni of programs or they're interested in that topic, they can all be a part of that group, ask questions right. where the expectation is that the subject matter expert uh, provides an answer. Invariably, it doesn't even have to go to the subject matter experts. People amongst themselves are able to help okay, each other. Yeah. I've done this. This is what I have experienced here. Yeah. You take the, yeah. uh, take my learnings away kind of a thing. Sharing is already happening. Mm. Uh, but if that doesn't happen, that's a, indicator to the subject matter expert to see do they need to beef up the program or do they need to do a separate standalone to talk about a particular concept or topic. Uh